start. What a game. Absolute ecstasy around here. This is just so much fun. Absolutely amazing. Oh, this is mad. It's the best atmosphere I've ever seen. A chance. Surely two now it is. We are here at the Sivas Metropolitano for a huge game in the Champions League between Atletico Di Marri and Borussia Dortmund. Atletico Di Marri overcame Internazionale Milano in an incredible penalty shootout and football match at the Estadio Metropolitano last time. They're looking to go one better and get past Borussia Dortmund today. Borussia Dortmund booked their place here in Madrid tonight by getting past PSV Eindhoven from a bit of magic from Jaden Sancho and Marco Royce. They'll be up for it tonight. But who will take the W? We'll see Simeone do a job over the Germans or will the yellow wall have the final say? Make sure to like and to hit that big red subscribe button and I'll see you guys at the next Palatano. Let's go! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the beginning of the video and we are here along with the whole of the yellow wall of Borussia Dortmund here in Sol in Madrid. What a location, what a setting for an incredible Champions League game between Atletico de Madrid and Borussia Dortmund. It is going to be world class because I'll tell you why these two teams are extremely well matched and it's going to be extremely close. And but when I say the yellow wall has ascended, it has. It is the whole of the Sol statue, the fountain behind it, covered covered in yellow and the beautiful black Dortmund kit as well. Wow, what a turnout. And the Borussia Dortmund fans escorted by the police heading to the ground already. They are ready. That's loud as the city fans, though. Here we go. Oh, that was crazy. Now, let's head for our match day munch. But the, what the craziest thing is the police are putting them on the wrong metro. They're going to have to change, but I'm not sure whether a lot of them know that. So hopefully all the Dortmund fans get to the stadium. Right, we're going into Bostor Falls today. That's the match day munch. Well, the scram is beginning. We've got Astrea and we're in the Turkish place, of course. This is one for you, Faz, because that's usually our little place that we go to. Australia Pine is good. We are ready to crack into some scram. And here it is, the classic Turkish stuff. We we love the Turkish stuff on this channel, don't we? Obviously, we've got our Estrella and we've got our pita bread. Very, very nice. I'm looking forward to munching into this. Rate the scram out of 10. What are we thinking, guys? As some random Don on TikTok says dinner. Here we go. Wow. That's so good. Okay, time to try chicken. That one's good. First one's better, the beef's better. I'm just gonna go in with nachos on this one. This one's the lamb, it's pretty good. The one that me and Faz had at the Sheffield game was better than that. But this beef, this beef is stunning. It is so good. Well, that was only 20 euros. Absolutely stunning. The beef was a joke. That's how good it was. It was fantastic. Anyway, it's time to head to the Estadio Metropolitano. Let me know in the comments as well. W or L for 20 euros. So about £16.50-ish. About £16.75 uh, for that meal. Absolutely fantastic. Now, the Dortmund fans have had a big head start. So we're going to see uh, what carnage is going to be caused tonight here at the Metropolitano. Very much looking forward to this. I need to get a water because, um, yeah, I'm, I'm thirsty. But we can't forget the Travel Essentials Finney, the best sweets in the land and all the world. Only Percy Pig clears Finney, in my opinion, and we got a water. So there is our Match Day Essentials, only two euros. Absolutely spot on. Can't beat fizzy bananas, in my opinion, but it's time to head off to the Metropolitano. Here we go. Well, we've made it here to the Metropolitano. I think the bus is about to come in. It is packed in. Well, thousands of people are waiting for the bus. Athletic flares going off. They're ready for tonight. I know they are going to be the 12th man, the Atletico fans. This is crazy. This is a bus meet and a half. Wow. You actually can't even see up there. That's how many flares are going off. This is insane. This is just incredible. Listen to this. This 
this atmosphere is absolutely mental. Look at it. Oh my God, I can't even see. The boss, this is mad. This is incredible. Here comes the boss, the Atlantic players. It's just incredible. This is just mad. This is what football means to European fans. It's just incredible. The police are shepherding us on. This is madness. Look at it, this is insane. This is Sky Sports and this has been gate crashed. Wow. They are the most underrated fans in the world for a reason. Some of the most passionate, incredible fans. That is one, that is the best bus mate I've ever seen in my life. That was amazing. Well, what an incredible atmosphere that was. That was absolutely amazing. Anyway, it's time to get inside the Metropolitano ahead of this huge Champions League game. What can Atletico Di Madrid do on the first leg? That is all important question because usually you know Simeone's game plan. You know that he's going to go away from home like they did against City back in 2022. They went and defended. They got a 1-0 loss like they did against Internazionale Milano in the San Siro. They came back and they absolutely were brilliant. And they probably should have won it in normal time. They had so many chances. And Memphis Depay popped up with a huge goal after Griezmann uh, got them a goal. Uh, and they managed to get through on penalties. Hung out for extra time, which is what Simeone teams do. And find the way to win. What are they going to do tonight? Are they going to attack? Are they going to defend? I've no idea. I'm so excited to see. Well, we made it to the Sivas Metropolitano here. It's a neutral vlog, which means it's a score prediction. Who do I want to win? And let's go, Di Mari. I want them to win today, just based on the, on the bus journey. That was just incredible. Some of the fans, absolute passion that is unmatched around the world. I love European football fans. They are incredible. And the fact that Dortmund fans could just walk through them all and everyone was just shaking hands. That's what we want in England. We don't want flipping things being thrown at each other over the seg line. I enjoy rival fans getting on and just watching a game of football. It's just personal preference for me. If you don't like that, well, screw on you because you're not changing my opinion. Anyway, score prediction. Atletico Di Marais 2, Borussia Dortmund 1. That's my score prediction today. I think Atletico will scrape it just. I think they'll go 1-0 down, trying to be too defensive in the first half an hour. And then they have the capability to be able to play good football, which I've seen over the course of time. Griezmann in particular, what a player he is. Angel Correa will come off the bench. Rodrigo De Pau is that dynamo in that midfield. And Marcus Lorente, for me, who's my favourite Atletico Di Marais player, he is the influence on that right-hand side, in which caused Inter so many problems in the round of 16 game. What a game we're in for. Let's head in and get the team news. Well, we played it in. For any English people, that's the easiest gym you'll ever have. There's a gap between the two turnstiles. You can literally just side on and go through it. Anyway, what an arena this is. I've been here on the tour. I did it last year, but I've never actually been inside, like, properly uh, to watch a game. So, oh, the concourse. Look at it. It's fantastic. Oh, I'm loving this stadium already. Well, there they are, the yellow wall in the heights of the Metropolitano. It's high up there, it is. What a, what a following though. The Atletico fans are beginning to get ready. There's still so many of them outside, so that'll be full very soon. What an incredible scene this is. I will show you the view, but I am so happy with this scene. WRL for 50 quid. Let me show you. There it is. There's a the view of the pitch. 50 quid this cost. Pretty damn good. To anybody English watching, European tickets are very, very expensive. There's no such thing as £30 cap on away tickets. There's no such thing as cheap tickets. 70 quid to watch City Arsenal is an absolutely bargain to anybody that's European. I'll put it in perspective, this seat is 50 quid. If you go behind that little wall there, it goes up to 235 quid. If you want it real good on the halfway line, it's 380 quid. And for the San Siro, the same seat for the Milan derby in the Champions League semi-final last year was 945 quid. You can get the Champions League final for cheaper than that. So we got it lucky in England, to be fair. Last from Borussia Dortmund to train to the whistles and boos of the Metropolitano. But the applause of the Dortmund fans above. This is going to be a game. 
Okay, team news. I start with our left bloody Maria and obviously Morata and Griezmann. Up front, what's interesting is Lino and Molina are playing as the wing backs. Marcus Lorente, my favourite Atletico player, is going to play in the midfield alongside Rodrigo de Paul. And the back four, well, three. I'm used to see the same back four. I forgot the player, but we're watching a Simeone team. Axel Binto, Cesar Raspilicueta, which I'm looking forward to see as well. It's a strong Atleti team. Oh, yes. No Marco Royce for Borussia Dortmund. I think they're two weak his side on Ayerson and Matteson on the full backs. I think that's where Atletico could get at them. But Atletico won't be playing wingers. It'll be Molina and Lino. And then Marcus Lorente probably pushing out to the right hand side with Griezmann pushing out to the left. Leaving Morata as like a number nine uh, when they're attacking. I've no idea. It's Simeone at the end of the day. Uh, strong back four. Adeyemi. Nemencia will play as like an attacking midfielder. Uh, but then Rochelle played as like a defensive midfielder. Full club with Lisa Line. Who I don't particularly rate, but Jaden Sancho has scored a brilliant goal against PSV. Starts on the right hand side. Oh, what a game this is going to be! Oh, here come Atletico taking the field to train. The booze ring from the Dortmund. The South Stand is getting more full and getting more ready. Oh, we have come down pit side ready for this game. I'm so looking forward to it. What a Champions League night we're going to get. Don't you just love the Champions League? The Northern fans are moving side to side and now bouncing. The signature European bounce is out. And we are ready here at the Metropolitano. The reception for Simeone. They love him. He gets the job's done, I guess. They must love the defence. The defence wins titles. How does Jordan respond? Staying silent through the athletic chart, respecting them, and then doing a chant of their own. This is European football. This is just so absolutely amazing. And here they come to the absolute cathedral of the London Metropolitano. This is it. I've never been more excited for a neutral game since the Milan derby last year. But I think this atmosphere tops it. Here we go. This is the best atmosphere I've ever been in. It's magical. It's time. Atletico Di Madrid versus Borussia Dortmund. One place in the semi up for grabs. Will tonight go a long way on deciding that? Let's find out. And here we go. We're off and on away. Can't even hear myself think. That's how crazy it is. Unbelievable. Let's have a good game as well. It's Griezmann. And it's in. Morata. What can he do? Great block. What a block that is. Brilliant defender from Schlotterbeck. We're in for a 90 minute of absolute treat. Listen to it. And the Dortmund fans on there. It's madness. Oh my God. Mistake. Goal. Goal. Already. Magnificent start. What a game. Absolute ecstasy around here. Oh my days. Absolutely incredible. What a start. Thinking maybe they got played into the incredible atmosphere because the whole stadium at that point was jumping around. Me being one of them and getting sucked into this atmosphere. Oh my goodness, mate! What a mistake! What a finish from Depaul. One nil, Atleti. Vamos, Atleti, vamos! Oh, this is mad. It's the best atmosphere I've ever seen. I don't even come close. The Dortmund are playing out the back and it's right into Atleti's and Simeone's hands. They're playing high press, counter attacking football, and Dortmund are caving in. If they make another mistake, it could be game over. Another mistake, so it's another cut. Oh my god! Free header for Axel Vetzel. It's gone back out to Griezmann. Oh, oh my god! Vetzel 
twice on two occasions, coming out two goals. What's an incredible effort from Axel Bitsa. Should be 2-0, 3-0. Corner for Atleti. Dangerous again. The Griezmann is taking some belter corners today. Don't look at the ball. They lose it. And I've got to go back on it. Chance it. Another right with Lina. Goes it back to Lente. If anyone, I want to score this for Lente. Dorman can't keep the ball, especially when they're knocking it around the back with like Kobo. I think Matt Tumbles is he's done now. He is getting exposed by Griezmann on the Raptor. He's just not keeping up with the game. Lino does well until the final ball. I tell you what, those Dortmund fullbacks are not having it today. They're making mistakes again. Oh, you think that Griezmann is going to smash that into the net? You lot at the back are not making the right decisions for Borussia Dortmund. The fans are booing. A couple of them at least, they're not happy. I don't blame them every time they have the ball in the, in the back, they just lose it. Corner of Lanty, it's got all the way through. Someone's got to tap that in at the back stick, it would have been two. And Letty have been so dangerous off corners. This one's an interesting one, but... Oh my, it should have been another goal, that. Oh my days. This game is just fascinating. I know I criticised Matt Wooders before, but if it wasn't his for his calm and composure is in that Dortmund back four. They would have given the ball away a hell of a lot more. Nico Schlotterbach is the main defender and Hummels is the main man that can get it from the defence into the midfield. I don't know what Dortmund are thinking with full club up front. Every time he touches the ball, he just loses it. When he gets the ball, to be honest, I think Atletico have just got their tactics nailed on at the moment. I don't know what Borussia Dortmund are going to do. The Sancho and Kari Maniemi haven't even been in the game. And they're the best two outlets for a goal. Oh my face, listen to it. And the referee's flying out, cards left, right, centre. Lorente just punched the air in disgust, didn't even kick the ball away and he's been straight in the box. And that's the reaction that he's got in front of us, wow. Well, we know the Atletico players can be like that, mainly due to the manager because he's like that, but that was soft yellow for me. Dortmund just had that first chance of the game. Came from a set piece, Sancho had the ball, did well to win a corner. It's probably the second time that he's touched the ball. Still don't think how the end he's had one. Corner comes in, Chan rose above everybody. Should do better, should get it on target. Flies over the bar, big chance for BBB. Chance, surely 2 now it is. Absolute carnage, and this might be the tie, to be honest. Slotterbeck and Hummels just didn't communicate, walked into each other, and have been duly punished from Athletic. Story of the first half. Dortmund can't pass the ball out the back and have conceded two goals from it. This time, Slotterbeck and Hummels decide that they're playing piggyback and walk into each other, leaving brilliant space and smashing to the back of the net. So bad from Dortmund, but Atleti, it's exactly what you want, isn't it? And this stadium goes crazy. And there might be another one. <laughs> oh, man. It's Lino with the goal, it's one back, it's flipped over by Griezmann and Lino. Had so much time because the two centre backs are nowhere near the game. And there's only so much the two fullbacks that can do because, like I said in the brief before, I don't think they're up to scratch and I don't think they're strong. And I think Atleti have been playing on the whole Dortmund back ball, not being able to get the ball out. The only one being Hummels, and he can't have his pace to make up for somebody else's mistakes. He hasn't got any pace anymore. Great finish from Lino. 2 0 Atleti. Well, it's Atleti's first mistake of the game. It came from a Dortmund mistake in which he thought that there was going to be counter attack. They lost the ball, and it was a brilliant ball to Kadi Maniemi. And he took the first touch. It was looking like he was going to smack it towards Goldbaum, towards Ockbaum. What a block. Look at the south side. That's amazing. That is unbelievable. Flipping, hey. Anyway, Dortmund corner. And he doesn't even clear the first man. Another corner for Dortmund. They need a goal. Again, didn't even get past the first man. The Raptor had it. And now Atleti can get the ball away and get back into their groove and get back winning that ball from Dortmund mistakes. Well, oh, Oblak's just come up with a big save from Max and he had the ball at the edge of the box. Good strike towards goal. A good save uh, from the Slovenian goalkeeper. Big save to Ernest. Another goal uh, for Atleti will kill this off and probably make it impossible for Dortmund to be able to go through. And that's exactly what they'll want. Take advantage of being at home first and score. Um, just the game at the Dortmund's reach. Nice ball from Griezmann. Lino. Got to Ryerson. Corner it'll be. Madsen and Ryerson are getting skinned. Dortmund are in. Sancho. Oh, Dortmund are in. 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 Dort
Ross have got it that far over from that Gumbin position. Nice little work from Dorman. First good play of the game, but it was taken apart from Emre Chan. Took out the whole of the Athletic Club in field in one little play. Rodrigo Vermente and Coke, but that allowed them the space. Yeah, he's got he's got to do better, Sancho. And we reached the halfway point. What a scintillating game in the Champions League. Atletico 2, Dortmund 0. Half time analysis on the way. Half time then here at the Metropolitano, and it is Atletico Madrid 2. Borussia Dortmund nil, and it's exactly what Atleti fans wanted going into this game. It's exactly why the atmosphere was just like that, because we knew how they were going to play. Well, I didn't. They knew how they were going to play, to be honest. Poor from Koble. I'm not sure what he's thinking. And Madison just caved in, didn't he? And gave the ball straight to Rodrigo de Paul. Great first touch. The open, the right-hand side of the goal was so empty. And that's exactly where we put it. Back of the net. 1-0 after five minutes. It was... Um, who gave the ball away this time? Oh, no way. It was Schlotterbeck and Hummels playing piggyback. And that gave a right-hand side, uh, a left-hand side. It was completely free. Griezmann tapped it over to Lino. And Lino scores, of course, to make it 2-0. Anyway, let's enjoy the second half. What an atmosphere from both teams, though. The second half is in the way. Julian Brandt is on. And he probably is going to be needed today. He's a great little player. I really like him. Dortmund are going to need him. Here comes Molina. Does well, gonna hit it. Beaten away from the Dortmund goalkeeper. Decent save that, to be fair, from Cobell. The second half has been chaotic, to say the least so far. <laughs> Both teams going at each other on the break. Dortmund have started the second half a hell of a lot better than they played in the first. A bit of meaning going forward, and maybe that's with Julian Brandt coming on. He's setting up the attacks. Fulcro had a shot that was just poor and straight at the um, Straight up, like Abbey Marco Rocha going on top. You have that experience, you have that player that's played for so long, who scored some massive goals for Dortmund. I don't rate full club, I'm sorry. I think Royce or Haller. Is Haller on the bench? I'm not too sure. A free kick for Atletico. Next goal is so important. Whipped in for Griezmann, flicked on, straight at Kobo. It was a little bit of a less flick. Maybe Nino could have attacked that on the back, but good chance. The Dortmund chant up there has been going on since about the 17th minute. It's the same song, and uh, they're making an atmosphere. The Dortmund asking for a penalty here. The referee telling them to go away. It's a corner. It's full Krug, and then it was pulled back to the edge of the box, and Brandt took a hit at it. Chance for Griezmann, there's a Dortmund player down. I bet you don't care, but pulled wide, and now the Dortmund player will get treatment. Fans are booing. I bet you fans not happy. The Dortmund fans are booing, to be honest. It's not heading to it, let about the law, says Emma Chan should be getting up. Well, half air has come off, probably the right way. Full Krug is rubbish, in my opinion. Half air, much, much better. A lot more conservative from Atletico Di Maria in the second half. They are defending. I think they're happy with 2 0. I think Simeone's happy with 2 0. It's all Dortmund at the moment. They're pushing and probing. Not really had a good chance other than that full Krug one. Even then, it was a poor effort from him. Our eyes on, Grant's making a difference. Dortmund have got subs warming up. It's going to be an insane last 20. There he goes, Lorente. Great cross in. Oh, really good cross. Really good cross. The pal's going to keep it in. Athletic's best chance of the second half, this. To the edge of the box. Got to hit it. Good block. Two sets in the atmosphere. In the, in the body language and the athletic pro players, but this game is just switching, switching sides a little bit. Dortmund are beginning to get the momentum, and that's them clamping up there. They're ready for this last 15 minutes. They've got free kick here in a good position. Grant over the bar. Good chance. Cobles just kept Dortmund in the Champions League. Free kick. Was missed by everybody and it came to the back stick. It's got to go in. What a brilliant save from the goalkeeper. Another save from Cobo Solomon. Still in this 10 minutes of this game. Now, Atletico score another and take this game out. Dortmund's side. But if Dortmund score, it's game on because that'll only need one in the Adrenal Park to get themselves double. Oh, what a 10 minutes. This is going to be a tactical mastermind from Simeone to try and keep Dortmund out, I think. I think he's going to try and hold it 2 0. Rodrigo de Pau going off for standing ovation. Correa, wow, striker. He's going for another goal. Maybe Rob. Maybe he's going for three now. Dorman had lost the ball at the back again and Griezmann probably should have done better and it was Hummels that lost it. Still not out of trouble. Oh my god. Oh it's gone wide, what a chance for three. That should have been it, that should have been the third goal. 
and it would have been the third time that Borussia Dortmund had given the ball away unnecessarily trying to play football out the back and this time it was the one that I said would have Huggles oh, headed wide from Lino what a chance brilliant ball from Lorente never gave up on it big chance for Lorente and that's what happens you don't make it 3-0 you get punished and it's into the back of the net Borussia Dortmund has scored out of nowhere and the game is on with the Metropolitano and it's kicking off what a huge goal that could be in this Champions League tie. And Dortmund have offered really nothing in the final third. Have taken a huge, huge goal here away from the Metropolitano. And the fans are going mad. Atleti screaming for the flag. It's onside, it's a goal. It's 2-1. And they should have made it 3-0. I said he needed to come on, I said he can provide and that's what he does, Sebastian Haller from a bit of poor athletic on defending, can't usually say that about them, has punished them and the Ivorian has got Dortmund back in this game, 2-1. Correa, oh my days, another mistake at the back for attempting that fancy a chance and have screwed it, they're going to live to regret this honestly. Another mistake at the back from Borussia Dortmund. How on earth are they getting away with this? And this time, Correa just couldn't pay, make him pay. Shut up. Five minutes to go. Big five minutes in the Champions League. There's a Dortmund score again. This will be madness. There's only one set of fans you can hear now. And that's the Borussia Dortmund. Oh my goodness me, what an effort. What an effort. What a brilliant effort. I'm not sure who it was. I think it was a substitute. Oh my days, he just propelled away from about three Alberti players, smashed it with his weaker foot. I think I've like got a touch onto the bar. What a save. It was by the game to the end of the substitute. Oh my days. He just propelled away. He was so quick. What a save, I think, from one like a little bit of a touch from a defender. Oh, I think it was going in without the, any deflection. The referee was very quick to get the corner. All you can hear with the Dortmund fans, there's just so much nerves around the Metropolitano at the moment. Chance here. This will be a huge goal. And we'll get the prediction right for me. Oh, straight to Cobal. Big chance. This is it. Last chance. Everyone up for Dortmund. And it's... Oh my God, it's hit the bar. That's it. That was the last kick as well. It's a win for Atleti. I think both teams go away unhappy. You can just tell. Well, Atleti did win, they've got the advantage. But it's always go difficult going to Dortmund, isn't it? I thought they played really well in that first half. Less can be said about the second half. I'm sure the fans will be happy. And the Dortmund fans will be happy too. Maybe both teams are happy. Well, there we go then, full time here at the Metropolitano. And it is 2 1 to Atletico Madrid with the way it finished. And Brad could have easily made it 2 all. All eyes go into it in the second leg. No teams in it, no teams out of it. Atletico have the slight advantage, but Dortmund are at home. They only need to win, they'll fancy it. Win by two goals, I mean. A win takes them to extra time. Rodrigo was excellent tonight. So was Rodrigo De Paul, who got the first goal. Well, what an experience, what an atmosphere, that's going to be it. If you have enjoyed, smash the like, hit that big red subscribe button. What a game of football, honours even pretty much going into next week. I bet he may have the advantage on the field, but Dortmund are at home. It's going to be a brilliant game.